and some of the basic things you need to get started. Um, when I paint, I almost always work in acrylics and latex. Um, it's much cleaner, it's much faster drying time, and it's a lot less toxic than some of the, the pigments you find in oil paints. Uh, it's also much more cost effective. Um, for a large mural, I will usually work in um, ordinary uh, house paint. It's, it's durable, you can get it in just about any color you need, and you can get large quantities of it, which is nice. Um, I also mix a lot of my own colors, uh, so it helps to have um, a lot of paint around to be able to play with. Um, so, you know, definitely um, play around with color mixing. It, it's fun and you never know what you're going to run into. Uh, something to watch out for though, latex paint, if you blend it too much, it tends to gray. So if you're working with something that requires a lot of color, you might want to consider going with acrylic artist paint um, and not latex. Uh, you will also need uh, a medium, something to mix with the paint. This will save you money in the long run because you can thin out the paint. It also helps you create great effects with glazing and color washes and uh, create the depth of color that you can get by building up lots and lots of thin layers. Uh, water works great for this, but you also need to have some sort of binding agent. Otherwise, uh, if you thin the paint too far with water, you will actually um, ruin the bond in the polymers and the paint will not stick to the wall, which is bad news for everybody.